you're wonky still, don't worry. I'll fix you up. There we go. Okay, I'm happy with that. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today, I'm going to be getting ready for World Pride, which is happening in Sydney right now. Today is the day of the Mardi Gras parade in Sydney, um, down Oxford Street. Um, and I am very excited. Get ready with me. Let's put this face on together and I'll talk you through it as we go. Um, I'm going to get straight into it and then I'll chat with you about the day and the concepts and all that kind of stuff um, as it goes on. So I want to start off with a bit of primer, but not too much. I'm going to use the NYX Marshmallow Primer. I'm just going to put this on a Nude by Nature liquid foundation brush. So yeah, I've been to the Mardi Gras Parade um, ever since I like left school. I usually want to go every single year. Um, unfortunately, the past two years, um, yeah, the past two years, the parade has been a ticketed event due to um, COVID. Um, however, COVID is now um, no longer as big of an issue and we are able to have the parade on the street again. So I'm going again. I wasn't really into the whole like ticketed event kind of thing. I like the free parade for everyone, like the whole family event vibes. Um, rather than like the ticketed stadium, you're like sitting and you watch them in a circle. Not really my vibe as much. Um, I'm very much into like standing on the street, people going past, everyone's walking around. That's my genre. Anyways, I'm excited for Mardi Gras to be back. This is the first Mardi Gras parade in Sydney like this down Oxford, the way it's supposed to be um, since COVID, isn't it? Exciting. Okay, so that was the NYX Marshmallow Primer. Smells good. Smells like marshmallows. Um, next, I'm going to put some foundation on. I'm going to be mixing the remaining amount of my Maybelline Fit Me um, Tinted Moisturizer that's in the shade 220 with my Maybelline 30 Hour, wait, what's this called? Super Stay Active Wear. 30 Hour Foundation, this one. And I wear the shade, uh, I don't know in this. Oh my goodness. 22 Light Bisque. Okay, so I'm going to mix the two on my brush and then put that on my face. Um, I'm a big fan of um, the Parade Mardi Gras event. Um, and I'm hoping to go to an after party after, but I haven't planned that far ahead. I'm hosting a prize at my house, um, and people will start arriving in 22 minutes. So, better put a face on in 22 minutes. I don't have to be dressed in 22 minutes because I can, like, quickly change when... I just squirted foundation everywhere. This is, this is silly business. The pump on this, my issue with this foundation, it's really good, but the pump on this always gets clogged and then it ends up like getting quite messy. Um, okay, that's actually so much foundation now because it's squirted everywhere, I had to add more and then... Okay, okay, let's just go with this. I'm going to use the amount that's on my cheek and blend it over my full face using this other brush. This is a powder brush, but who cares? Oh, look! Matches my skin tone well, though. I'm happy about that. Anyway... Yeah, do you guys usually go to Mardi Gras? Um, how do you celebrate Mardi Gras? I celebrate by having some friends over, enjoying some time with um, other queer friends, um, sharing it with some ally friends, you know, sharing the love um, and going to the parade, having some drinks and then maybe a boogie after the parade. That's my vision for the evening. There we go. I'm just going to use the mirror so I can make sure the consistency is how I want it to be. I'm not stressed about having people over today. Sometimes, you know, when I host, I'm like a little bit like, oh, I hope, I hope everyone likes each other and it all works out. I'm like so not stressed today because um, everyone is going to get along with everyone. Oops. Bit of dry skin on my nose. So, every year for Mardi Gras, I kind of do a different, like, rainbow look. I am a bit into, like, the full rainbow vibe, and so I like to dress up um, in full rainbow on Mardi Gras. I don't wear full rainbow every day, but, you know, Mardi Gras, I like to um, be extra colourful. It's my genre. And um, usually, um, in the past, I, like, do, like, a tutu with something, and then it all ends up being rainbow. Um, this year... I'm going to not be as rainbow, but like my outfit will still be very colourful. Um, so previously I did a rainbow ballerina and I also did a, oh, I want to use a different concealer. 
wants me a little more intense. Yeah, I did a rainbow ballerina and I've also done a rainbow, um, is it a fairy? No, I did a rainbow angel and a rainbow ballerina. And this time I'm going to do a rainbowy mermaid. But my inspo is also Rihanna. So you know that outfit where Rihanna's wearing the dress and she's like, it's like a halter dress and it's like, it's pretty much this material, right? And then she's like, you can beat me, but you cannot beat my outfit. That's my American accent. Um, <laughs> that's what I'm going for. Like those vibes, but obviously it's like a translucent kind of dress. And so underneath I'm going to wear um, some shorts maybe, or some like swimming bottoms, like a bikini bottom underneath. And then on top I'll either wear my seashell bikini top, um, or I'll wear these like nipple cover kind of things. I, I'll open it up and show you. They're really cute. Um, and I want to wear them, but I wouldn't wear them by themselves. It's a bit much for me. But I would, like, I would feel uncomfortable just wearing those out. But I would feel comfortable wearing those out underneath this mesh thing. Because this is, it's, it adds a layer of, like, opacity and stuff. And I'd feel more dressed if I did that. Because then I'd be, like, covered. So, I think I'll do that underneath the Rihanna dress. Um, the dress that I have, by the way, is not intended to be the Rihanna, the Rihanna dress. Um, it's from the Show Post Sample Sale that I just uploaded to my channel. Um, and it's a dress that has, like, sleeves and everything. So I need to, after I do my makeup, cut the dress up so that it is, like, the shape that I'm, like, desiring. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'm just adding a bit more coverage. Uh, I've been wearing a lot of natural makeup looks recently, but today I want a full beat because I'm going to sweat and I want to look good the whole night. Even going out recently, I've been wearing quite natural makeup looks. It's summer. I have my lash extensions done, which makes me, like, generally reach for, like, more, um, low coverage, glowy, natural looks. But today, it's going to be the full shebang. Is that a mesh? Do you reckon? Could do a little more, honestly. More, more, more! What other, like, Mardi Gras concepts should I do? So, obviously, this year I'm doing a mermaid. And I've done a rainbow fairy, a separation, not even a Mardi Gras, just, like, for fun, in the past. I've done an angel and I've done a ballerina. Um, I wouldn't do a cheer version because cheer is life. And I don't know, I just don't feel like being a rainbow cheerleader. It doesn't resonate the way that the other ones, the other fantasy concepts do. Hmm. It's an interesting thought. Maybe I just, from now on, like, after I've finished my, like, rainbow fantasy um mythical creature kind of vibes maybe i'll just do wearing colorful things and it wouldn't be like rainbow fairy as much anymore i don't know i don't know what the future of my mardi gras visions is i like to go into things with a vision of like what i want to wear it's not often that i'm like oh i'm i'm not sure what to wear and i like literally have no concept because i like to have at least like Something in mind that I'm going for, or at least a vibe that I'd like to have. Okay, that's nicely brightened. I feel quite concealed and stuff. I am going in with a loose powder that has um, coverage in it as well. This is the Natural Mineral Cover Radiant Loose Powder Foundation. I'm just going to put this all over the under eye. I'm going to be quite heavy handed with this. I'm trying not to breathe it in. Because, um... I don't want to have, like, my under eyes moving through the evening. I'm going to set the whole face. This foundation, by the way, this Maybelline one, um, I was recommended it by um, Trixie Mattel, who I like to watch on YouTube. She's a drag queen. And she uses that for drag shows and stuff. And it's, like, their tried and true go-to drugstore kind of vibe. And I was like, well, if it survives a drag show, I'm sure it can survive my just night at the club vibes so i've been a fan of it actually since i've started using it i've been into it I'll pack on some more i want to like set my under eyes like quite in sorry it's probably really loud for you. It's really loud for me too. Um, I want to set my under eyes quite intensely. 
I'm going to like over bake and then I can always dust off the extra later. Gee, I haven't gone for a look like this in a while. There, nice and intense. Do around the nose. We don't want our nose sweating. Always want to make sure the nose is powdered. Okay. I'm not sure what I want to do for eyes, actually. I know I want to do some sort of... Let's do iridescent rainbow. Done. See, that's what I mean. It's like, as much as I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. I kind of had a vision in my head. Um, okay. Let's do a shimmery rainbow. I'm looking at my BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette. No, I want to do something a little bit more light. I'm going to use a combination of those shimmery shades and I think these shades. I'm going to use a lot of makeup brushes. Okay, we're going for it. I'm going to do my eyes first and then I'll wipe away the bake and then I'll do the rest of my face. Um, let's get with a brush. I'm going to do red to purple. And I want it to be iridescent. So I'm going to start off with just like. Okay, we're going for it. I'm going red at the front. Just the slightest hint. I want this to be an iridescent vibe. This red's kind of going to act as a base to another more iridescent y pinky thing that I'll put on top. Okay, that's like a lot of red. And I'm going to leave it at that. This is going to be a lighter look. Because keep in mind, like, I'm going for more like light makeup these days and so I don't want to do something too dramatic um I won't have wing liner most likely and so I don't want something that looks too dark on my eyes and makes me feel weird because sometimes if I do too dark of eyeshadow without wing liner it makes me feel weird and I don't want that um I want a stronger orange because the shimmery orange in this palette it's not giving it to me so I'm going to go in with this like golden shade here at the bottom of this Colourpop palette I'm combining that with the red, and that'll become a bit more orange. Yeah, happy with the way that's looking. Now I want a true yellowy shade. So I'm going to go in with this one. This is another ColourPop shadow, and I think this is the shade Leo from the Kathleen Lights collaboration they had previously. I'm going to grab quite a bit of that on the brush. I'm going to put that in the center of the eye. That's going to be the light feature shade. I want a bit more intensity. I'm going to grab this kind of domed packing brush. I'm going to put that as the pop. And I can always come in later to intensify that. Okay, so this brush is now going to be the yellow brush for the middle. This is going to be the warm tones brush. And then now I'm going to grab another brush that I'll use on the cool tones. And then I'm just going to use each of those brushes for their correct respective shades. So I don't mix it around too, too much. Um, because that will get too messy. So I'm just going in with this shimmery green. Again, from the BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette. And I'm just blending it upwards and outwards. Then I'm going to take a light blue. I'm going to take this one. This one is an old Kylie Cosmetics shade. What are you called? Ooh, come on, pop up, pop up. I can't get it out. It's it's from um an old Kylie Cosmetics palette. It's from like a holiday collection. Um, if you search up Kylie Cosmetics loose eyeshadows, you will find it. I don't think it's one that's very hard to find. However, Kylie Cosmetics has discontinued that palette anyway since they rebranded. So I don't think that it's... You'll be able to see it online, but I don't think you'll be able to purchase it regardless. So I'm like, sorry, but you'll probably have to find a shimmery light blue that's similar instead. Now this last color, it's my eyes are getting a little dark. So I'm just going to grab a light purple and I'm going to take it on a separate brush just because if I took it on the same brush, I think it would be getting too much color on the brush. I am so happy with the way this looks because it's light. It's giving me Barbie fairy type here without being too intense and I'm happy with it. So I'm going to now do a bit more blending between the colors. So I like the way this is looking here, but I want it to be blended more on the top. I like the way this is looking here, but I like the, I want a bit more definition between the shades, like a little bit more brightness while still being quite light and pastel. I need another fluffy, fluffy brush. I want it to be buffed out at the edges, but clear from the vibrancy um, down here of what each color is. A little more everywhere. We we'll start from the beginning and work our way through again. I'm just gonna. Okay, I'm going in with the red again. Taking a very light hand, I'm dipping it just like twice. 
I'm talking about just in that very inner corner there. I'm going to blend that out quite well because it establishes that first shade. Then I'm going with that second shade, which I just used layered over that red shade, that ColourPop Leo shade from the Leo palette. This is the shade um, A Star Is Born. <laughs> yeah, correct. I am a star and I am born. I'm putting that over the top, but being careful not to get too much of it on because I still want that. I still want red to show through. Is it red enough? Wait, let me... Where's my brush cleaner? I have this, like, little tool thing. And it cleans your brushes between uses. Oh, I don't know where it is right now. Okay, well, I'm just going to dust it off in the back of my hand as best as I can. Pack in a little bit more red at the front there. I don't want my inner corner to be red specifically, though. Like, I, I'll put a little bit of pearlescent on my inner corner. Because this is a mermaid -y look. So now I've got the red and the orange looking the way I want them to. I'm going to do green, blue, purple, and then come back to yellow. Because yellow, I want to be the pop. So I'm going to do it green again. Just dusting off that brush that I was using earlier. Going in with the green. Oh, it's be real time. I'm sorry, be real. I have to come back to you. I'm going to have to be fake. There we go. And then I'm going to go in with the blue shade again. From... The loose single from Kylie Cosmetics. And then at the very outer, I'm going to grab that purple again. Oh, I feel like I have a wash of rainbow like I'm in a Barbie movie. I feel like I'm in Barbie Mermaidia. Now that last shade was a bit messy for me. Blending that up and out and blending that blue shade in with it. They're kind of melting into each other, but you can see the general shape is happening. Now I'm going to go in with that gold again. So that golden yellow shade is the link Leo shade. The Le I think it's called the Leo or the Lion. Um, and it's from the Kathleen Lights ColourPop collab. I'm going to dampen my brush actually just a little bit. And it draws stuck. Oh my gosh, I accidentally just moved my like vanity a bit to not open that drawer because it's so stuck. There's something wrong with that drawer. I'll have to fix that later. Anyway, whatever. Which is the setting? Sorry, I will use this one. Just to dampen it a bit. So I applied that shimmer shade to the center dry and now I'm applying it wet so the dry one is already placed down it gives the wet one something more subdued to blend into and so it means that when I layer this wet one on top it doesn't create as harsh of a line as if I was just laying it over just the rest of the rainbow but it does add that like pop of gold that I'm looking for work on the edges there Okay, happy with the way that looks. I'm now going to go in with a neutral brush and just kind of fluff out any edges at the top. Okay, I'm happy with the way that looks. Um, should I do eyeliner today? I feel like I don't need to. I'm really liking the way this is glowy and nice. I'm going to brush the extra powder off my face now. And we're going to work on face. Um, the reason I did eyes first before coming back to add colour to my face um, was because by leaving the powder on my face for longer, it meant that my face was set for longer and it meant that my face had time to um, really stay matte and for those products to infuse and like kind of create a thicker layer on my face. Um, so it'll last a bit longer. Um, so that was just longevity kind of thing that I did that for. Also, it meant that um, I could brush away any extra eyeshadow at the end of me doing my eyeshadow look so it wasn't too, too messy, like falling down my blush that I'd already done or something. I am now going to go into blush and I'm going to be wearing the shade mm, California because it's my favourite from Benefit. This is the box blush from Benefit and I'm going to be using this brush here. I think it's some sort of multitasking type of brush from benefit. I'm just going to be packing this directly onto the cheeks and I'm going to be quite 
generous with it because I love the shade of this blush. I think it's gorgeous. Um, it's a perfect peachy pink. It's very similar to NARS Orgasm. It has a golden reflect to it, but it's not too strong of a gold reflect where it's like, oh, there's highlighter on your face. Like if I don't highlight wearing this, um, it's almost like just a quite a glowy sheen. Um, I'm going to be very heavy handed. So you don't have to be as heavy handed with me as your blush, at your blush, but I just like to be. Um, I could have worn also similar to this, um, NARS Orgasm, or recently I've been wearing a lot the, um, Rare Beauty liquid blush, um, in the shade Joy, however that one is a liquid blush, and because I'm using powder face products so heavily today, I didn't want to risk, um, powder and liquid or mixing, it might have, um, picked up product in a way that I wasn't 100% happy with, and I don't have the time to risk that right now. Sometimes I do layer powder and, um, liquid in interesting ways over the top of each other, but I don't have the time to risk it today because if it went wrong, I've, I've got no time. I've just got to get my face on because people will be coming over soon. That's my blush done. Um, I do, don't you worry, have time to make a video with you guys. So I'm going to be next putting on some bronzer. This is the bronzer from Better Cosmetics. It is the shade Bronzed Bondi and it's from this Sunlit Bronzer range. I really like this, but it is quite dark as you can tell compared to my face. So I do use quite a light hand with this. Typically I, um, will be using a slight heavier hand than usual today because obviously I am going for a more intense look than usual, but it's not going to be like too, too much. Um, this is a very buildable bronzer in that like I can make a very natural look out of this where you can't even tell that I have bronzer on. Um, I today do want to look like I'm wearing bronzer, but you know, you can smooth it out to a point that it can be quite natural if you'd like. Um, I also find with this bronzer, um, it looks quite natural on the skin. Um, it's got a bit of radiance to it. It's not like a dead matte bronzer where it looks like dull on the skin. Um, and you can really build it. So it's been a great one for when I'm quite tan. I can build it up and it's probably the darkest bronzer in my collection right now. So I can get really dark looks out of it. Or I can, like, sheer it out and get more natural looks out of it. Oops, that was a bit intense over there. If you ever to go too hard in with your bronzer somewhere and you want to take it down, just grab the brush that you used on your face and you can blend, blend. This one's a really good brush. This one's also from Real Techniques. And look at the size of that one. Massive face brush. Um, really easy to cover a large area of the face, neck, body even. It's a good brush. I'm a fan. Okay. I don't really know what I'm going to do for hair today. Also, I have this pimple down here. Um... And I'm just going to leave it. I did conceal it a little bit. Um, I've laid some foundation stuff over it. But, like, I'm not that stressed, honestly. It's just a pit. It sucks, but it's life. Um, that's it for foundation, bronzer, blush. Let's go into highlight next. I'm going to be a bit more choosy with my highlight. This one will be great as a full body highlight. And I might highlight all my friends' bodies when they come over. Because I love a glow. Oh, I do know I want to wear Miss Mercury from Ariana Grande's Rare Rem Beauty. R-E-M Beauty, are you supposed to say? R-E-M Beauty or Rem Beauty? Can someone correct me? Anyway, I'm going in with this brush that I got from um, Mecca one time. And I'm just going to highlight my cheekbones with this. Um, it's not too icy that it looks cool on my skin tone to the point that it looks like frosty. Um, but it's not too yellowy that it looks golden champagne. It's just like a nice skin toned one. I'm a fan of the way it looks. Adding a little up here. And I will also be adding it on the detailed areas of my face after I contour my nose. So let's do some nose contour first. I'm going to be using the Bolani Silky Matte Bronzer in the shade 02 Sun Kissed. I'm going to be taking this Morphe brush. This is the E62. And I'm going to be dipping in and just contouring my nose. So I go under my nose and then I trace down the two sides of my nose to give the illusion that that is the tip of my nose and that my nose is that skinny. And then I just kind of pat up the sides of my nose, blend it upwards to create the illusion of a skinny, straight nose um, because I like the way that that looks when I do a nose contour. I also like to blend it out and I also like to um, do a little line across here to give like more of a button nose effect. I'm just gonna blend that so there's no harsh lines. Um, it looks a little uneven right now just because I do have a window coming on from this side. Um, but if you trace down your nose straight, it should give a straight look to the nose. Yeah, looks good to me. Now I'm going to highlight that and the other areas of my face using 
this little brush here, this one's from the Madison B. and Morphe collaboration, and I'm going to be using that Rem Beauty highlight, if I can find it. Here it is, this Mercury. One of the best products that I found last year, honestly. I'm going to take this in my inner corners, just dragging it along the front of the inner corner there. For a pop of brightness. I'm going to be taking it on the tip of my nose. Here, and down the center of the nose. Again, just to brighten up the face and bring the illusion of that that is the tip of the nose and it's just that. I'm taking it on the brow bone for quite a lifted and precise look. And I'm blending that very softly into the shimmery eyeshadow that I have underneath it. Gives kind of an ethereal look, which is what I'm going for. It's glowy, it's light, it's summer, it's bright. She's a mermaid, but she's like a light mermaid. She's not a siren, you know. That's the vibe we're going for today. I hope that made any sense at all. Okay, I'm happy with the way that my highlight is looking. I am going to do a little bit of brows. Um, and then I'm going to do a lip. So for brows, all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a precision brow pencil. There is a nice one. I'm going to use a brow pencil rather than a pomade today just for a little bit more precision and so that it's a little bit more light-handed. Um, this one is the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit in the shade 3. And I'm just going to draw on the tails of my brows really gently. And see how that, like isn't intensifying my brow. I don't want to fill in my brows because I don't want to have an intense brow. I want to have like quite a light look today. But just by doing that, I've given my brows some shape and drawn a tail on where there was not one previously without adding like a lot of darkness. I'm happy with the way that looks. I'm going to do the other side now. Just continuing on from the shape of my brow naturally. Drawing it out longer and bringing it to a point. And I'm just going to blend it through the front of my brow. You can see that's where I've drawn it on from. So I want to blend it up this arch a little bit just so that it mixes with my natural brow color. Well, it's not my ma my natural brow color. I've bleached my brows. So this is why they're this color, which is the color I was hoping for. Really happy with the way my face looks right now. This is the vibe I was going for. I am going to set my brows with the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. I'm so happy now that the brows are on. Um, they frame the face in the way that I want it to look. Happy, happy, happy. Oh my gosh, I'm so sweaty. I probably should have worn eye primer. You can see my eyeshadow is creasing already, but it's okay. From a distance, my eyes will be open and no one will see in the folds of my eyelid creases, really. Unless I'm like closing my eyes, but whatever. Who cares? The shade that I have of the ColourPop um, Brow Boss Gel is dark brown because that suits my natural hair colour. Okay, I think that's it for the face and brows. I will be setting my face with some setting spray. I'm going to use the Maybelline New York Lasting Fix um, Makeup Setting Spray up to 16 hour wear matte finish. Gee, that was a strong pop. I'm running out. And I am generous with the setting spray because I want to be set all night. I'm not going to do liner. Um, you might not see me do it. I might do something off camera where I like put a little bit of like black eyeshadow into the base of my lash line. Um, but other than that, that's the face done. Let me show you what lip I'm going to wear. Um, because it is a go-to look that I've been wearing recently for the lip. And I'll likely wear it today just because it is my current favourite. Um, so, by the way, these are the shorts that I most likely will wear. They're like mermaid print shorts. They're the ones that I made um, a while ago. I hauled them because I made them myself. I sewed them from scratch, guys. They were fabric and they were thread and elastic. And I made a pair of shorts out of it. I'm, I'm like, proud of myself. So this is the KKW Beauty... Um, lip liner in the shade Nude 1.5. Just overlining my bottom lip slightly 
and then curving out my cupid's bow because I'm a big fan of like a curved cupid's bow at the moment and I'm overlining that just slightly as well. Just like that and I'm going to also draw a line up the center just to give a little bit of contour and shape I'm going to fill in the sides as well so it creates a lesion of depth darkness here to make something look receded lightness here to make something look larger I then do this so a little bit of the lip line it comes up onto the top lip and then just very lightly I go over the top of it in this shade radiate which is another gloss from KKW Beauty which I really hope returns because I'm a big fan of her lip products. I'm just putting the lightest layer of this over the top. As you can see, I'm not going all in with the um, gloss. I'm just doing the lightest thing because it has got a color and I don't want too much of the color. I just want a hint of the color. And the way that the gloss sits on the lip, it kind of blends it all out and makes it into the perfect nude lip. As this wears, I really like the way that my lip looks as this wears. Um... And it becomes more natural and more of my natural lip, more of my natural lip peeks through. Um, I just really like the way that this lip combo is looking for me right now. So this has been my go-to. Um, I am going to go off camera now and cut up my dress. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do it. I think I'll just chop the sleeves off and chop off the back of the dress. That's what I'm going to wear tonight with these shorts underneath it and these through it. I'm not going to get dressed in it right now because I don't have the time to do this on camera before people turn up, but you get the vibes. If you'd like to see me in the full outfit, oh, it's going to be cute. Go follow me on Instagram. Um, and I will likely, I think I'll do a vlog of today. I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair yet, but that was the makeup. I'll just take my hair out and say goodbye, do a thumbnail with you guys. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Happy pride, everyone. Go celebrate and have a wonderful time with your queer friends. Here we go. I might do hair out in like a mermaidy wave if my sister can help me do that. I haven't chosen my jewelry, I haven't chosen anything else. I've just got a vague idea of how my outfit's gonna look. Okay, yeah, thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see more. Stick around and like, comment, subscribe if you'd like to see a vlog of this evening. I probably will do one. Um, might take me ages to edit though. Anyway, thanks for watching. Love you a lot. Catch you later. Bye!